Hi, Joy Olson, Blockbuster Fundraising, and oh my goodness, today on this particular Tuesday, we are only two weeks away from Giving Tuesday. So is there any possible anything that you can do at this particular point? Well, I think that there's always time to review your donation page. So I saw this great blog come out the end of October, and it was from an organization called Every Action. And they do donation pages, and, I, and they showed us some of their clients' donation pages and talked about what they liked about each page. So I thought that this was just uh, fabulous because the reality is your donation page can be your own greatest enemy. <laughs> so what's the good news? The good news is, is there, there are plenty of best practices that if implemented, that make it really straightforward to improve your conversion rates and raise more money. So the point here is, look at these ideas that they present and we'll go through them and, and point out to you which ones they like and why they like them, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm gonna add a few of my comments too. But the main thing here is, is test out new ideas seek inspiration and and just embrace something new so let's take a look they chronicled a uh, 14 different donation pages and each one of them has takeaways so uh, I'm, I'm sure that you can look through these and you're going to have an aha moment and want to apply some of these strategies to your own fundraising campaigns as you close out the year not just giving tuesday but Possibly, you'll see some good ideas that you can uh, go into your webpage right now and tweak a little bit for your Giving Tuesday uh, webpage. All right, well, we're talking about every action, and now we're going to uh, show you uh, some of their donation forms that they've created, and Catholic Relief Services, CRS, they're showing their donation page. We'll put that up on the screen for you right now. And the, uh, the reason they like this particular donation page, they like it because it's clean and a, a crisp uh, page design. But they, they got other things that they love. It says that has a prominent dun, da, 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 monthly giving option encouraging your donors to give at regular intervals. Monthly giving, we've talked about this so often, is so important. And these are donors that uh, you're working with now year end that have given to you before and they, they, they've invested with you, they believe in you. So it's a perfect opportunity to take that giving level to uh, new heights with monthly giving. So now go further down the page and you can see that they've got their credentials from Charity Watch, Give.org, and Charity Navigator. So this indicates to your donors that your information is going to be safe, encrypted, and absolutely a feel-good situation for your donors. All right, let's take a look now at another donation page that every action really likes. And it is the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. They have also a clean and effective donation page. And then they also do something else incredibly powerful. They tell a story. Perfect. Next to each donation amount is a brief description of how and where your donation will make an impact. So by building that level of trust with your donors, you're reinforcing their confidence in donating and building a lasting connection. Perfect. Tell your story. Tell a little bit of your story in your donation forms. Try it. See how it works. Some of the experts tell us keep those donation uh, pages clean, don't add too much, 
But one of the main things you always want to add, if you don't have your story, you want to have your image that tells your story by virtue of, of what the, the heartfelt emotion that's in that image. Next donation page, moving right along. They love the Audubon Society donation page. And here's talking about an image. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Just ask the Audubon Society. Their donation page features a beautiful image accompanied by text that points out why a potential donor should support their organization and how it will impact their cause. Then they give them bonus points for the green lockbox located at the bottom of the form. While it may seem inconsequential, potential donors are concerned with the risk of fraud. So by ensuring, ensuring your donors that your forms are secure, that's just one less obstacle between you and those donor dollars. Are you ready for another primo example of a great donation page? Check this out. Healthier Colorado donation page. They love Healthier Colorado's donation page because from their logo at the top to the textured background to the visually appealing color scheme, color scheme's important, Healthier Colorado makes you want to donate just by looking at their page. So attractiveness really counts. You want to invite them in with what they see on the screen. Small details like a simple check box for transforming one-time donors into monthly gifts. This takes this donation page from good to great. Remember the opportunity at year end of monthly gifts. Don't pass this up. You've heard us say many times, make, put monthly gift option front and center. Okay, next donation page, Union of Concerned Scientists. Doesn't that sound interesting? It, it was interesting in checking it out. So if you are looking to create an impact with the copy on your donation page, they say, look no further than the Union of Concerned Scientists. This is probably the simplest design that they offer us for evaluation, but sometimes the simpler the better. This donation form doesn't mess around with its call to action at the top of the text and it features, uh, that creates really a greater sense of urgency with the viewer. I think that you should always have a donation button on the top with your call to action. You can have it on the bottom of the page too, but I think especially year end, and especially any time nowadays, people are in a hurry. They don't, they're in the mood to donate, don't make them look for your donation page because if I have to look more than uh, a few seconds, seven, eight seconds, guess what? They're going to get a text. They're going to get a phone call. Something's going to happen and, and you lose them. So make it very easy to donate immediately, top of the page. Next donation page, World Central Kitchen donation page. Well, this donation page focuses on topical issues. In this case, they're directly relating the work they do to the immediate need for relief efforts in Puerto Rico. So presenting your donors with a clear value proposition, it's going to increase the likelihood that they're gonna follow through because people are, your donors are knowing if they're there, they're probably extremely worried about uh, Puerto Rico and, and, and they're going to see this bingo and they are going to donate. So you want to pair images with actionable value driven copy. So World Central Kitchen is determined to remind donors why they should donate in the first place. 
And I, I think that's really important, whether it's, uh, it's Puerto Rico or you're saving animals from euthanasia, whether you're feeding kids that are starving, you want to remind your donors on that donation page exactly what they're there to donate for, the impact that they're going to make, because that's why they're there. All right, donation page Alliance for Youth Action. This colorful page makes it impossible to leave without wanting to donate. You've got a bright color scheme, and then you've got a, a funny little tagline. So this page is a perfect example of blending a bit of humor with perfectly executed design for a great donation page. What do you think? Do you like it? Now, fresh truck donation page. Their donation form captures the attention of the audience with their visual donation buttons. I really love it, and I bet you will too. Each donation button has a corresponding image and action that allows the donor not only to read about what the money is going to support, but to see it. Hey, this is a powerful and innovative tool to tell your story and attract new donors. So really think about that, uh, that donation page. Could you use those ideas? I think we all could. These are great ideas. Okay, Reproductive Health Access Project. Okay, that's, that's a lot of words, but they have a beautiful donation page that combines several best practices. A one-click checkbox to convert one-time donations into monthly gifts. Isn't that perfect? Check. Succinct copy demonstrating the organization's mission and the impact a donor can make. Check. Easy to use form? Absolutely. Check, check, check. And they also love that the donors have the option to make a contribution in memory of someone. Adding these small personal touches can really make a world of difference in your forms, and I really believe they can. Uh, I believe that from my heart. Also, uh, on a couple of these, uh, take note, uh, I think we're going to try to, uh, on the screen, show you uh, the bottom of the forms too. I really particularly like the ones that, that allow the donor to get in touch with you, not just an address or an email, but a phone. Because at this time of year, people maybe have some questions. Maybe they want your tax ID number. Uh, maybe they're interested in a bequest. I think that you should be available and make that information available on your donation page. Okay, onward. The Blue Green Alliance donation page. This donation page shows how you can create a no frills donation page while still making an impact. Their copy creates a sense of urgency, always important, while also explaining the importance of their cause. That's really good. Take a look at that copy. What can you, how can you tweak your copy to do this same thing? Sense of urgency, but also explaining the importance of your cause. And then other things that they love about this donation page is that they include the addition of a support phone number. Aha, I love that too. And a call to action for more ways to give. Isn't that perfect? To keep donors involved beyond just the donation. But make sure that you put that more ways to give clear at the bottom because you want them to donate right away. They may be in a big hurry and right now they're, they just want to donate and hurry up. Maybe later on in the year, <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll be back and they'll look for more ways to give and it'll be there for them. Okay, donation page, People United for Justice. Now, this donation page gets straight to the point. No long copy, no navigation bar, just a beautiful image and the donation box. I kind of like that. 
Well, if you find that your donation page has a high bounce rate, consider this strategy to keep your future donors from getting distracted. It's worth a try, right? And they say, how can you leave a page as stunning as this? Of course, they designed it too. All right, protect our winter's donation page. It's a perfect example of a form, a donation form that uses a multi-step process. And this process helps break up the donation process into easier to manage chunks rather than presenting all the information at once. By just clicking a few buttons, the user can have an easy and effective donation experience without all the unnecessary scrolling. I don't know how I, I felt about this. Uh, I, I'm used to it from retail and you arrow over and you arrow over, but so many of us have gotten so used to just scrolling because uh, we donate mobile often. I'd love to talk to you and, and know how you feel about this. I thought maybe it was a bit much that maybe trying to break it up in easier chunks where you have to arrow over, you've got four different options on. What do you think? I wish you were here. I, I'd like to know. Okay, the green power donation page. Now this donation page has a beautifully designed, it's beautifully designed, has a succinct call to action and a brief explanation on why to donate. And then it's got something called fast action and users can seamlessly create a login, store their contact information and payment preferences, and enjoy one-click donations, not only on Green Power's form, but across the entire Every Action Network. Now, remember, this blog is written by Every Action, and they've done all these web pages. I, I, I don't per personally, uh, especially year, year end, I, I'm not really keen on this. I, I don't want to, uh, I don't care how seamless it is, I don't want to have a login and I don't want to have a password and I don't want anybody to be storing my payment information. That's just me. So I'm not sure I think it's, that is a great idea at all. But let's look at Whole Food Rescue. And this is a responsive design. It's, it's well designed and it's well branded and it certainly has a lasting impact on donor behavior. And that is especially true because they add a personal touch on their donation page with a copy of a handwritten note. You see that there on your screen. I think that's kind of cool. Do you? I mean, this is, this is certainly a creative way to show potential donors the impact of their donation beyond just the numbers and statistics. All right, there you have it. And they say those are the hottest donation pages on the block. And of course, they power these donations. Every action, they're, all, they're theirs. So I just thought that this was uh, perfect, really, especially for this time of year. You can take some of these ideas, uh, tweak your page, see what you like, see what you don't like, borrow from one, ignore the other, you know the drill. So I am Joy Olson saying go get them on, on Giving Tuesday. I, I wish I could see every one of your uh, campaigns. I wish you a ton of success. It's very exciting to kick off the 2017 fundraising year in fundraising season with giving tuesday i think it's going to be a, a huge success for you we have lots of information for year in fund, fundraising and fundraising all year round actually joyolsongroup.com blockbusterfundraising.com and we've got hundreds way over 200 free fundraising videos on our youtube channel so you can find out information about everything uh, from major gifts to moves management to giving tuesday to donation pages to social media you name it. it so take a few minutes each day to uh 
to think about your next move in your 2017 blockbuster fundraising success and, and see if you can't tweak the idea just a little bit more and we hope you can because we have tried to put all kinds of the best of the best information out there. All right, good luck and thanks for having been here. See you next week on our Facebook Live on Tuesday. Bye-bye.